Alright guys, welcome back. Okay, here we are in Beast and Beauty's apartment. They just went off there to do their little chat. And yeah, they really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. It's a nice apartment though. I thought they had money issues. Yeah, I'm not gonna knock on them. Let them do their thing. Let's have a look around. Way back. All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. We didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. Hmm. We'll finish this later. Nothing, we need nothing going on people. so far. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. I don't see anything else here. Right, let's go ahead and knock on the door. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? Will you drop it? Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. Look, I'm not here to referee. You called me, okay? So cut the bullshit and quit wasting my time. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk, and you don't get it, and all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man, and I don't know if it's worth it. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that Crooked Bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, yeah, that's what we're I said. To a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like? Oh god. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes. Hey, I'm not done here. <laughs> and we can't should... come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Kinda sounded like Blackbeard in a way. I wonder. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pond. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, hmm. that's Jersey. where I went. I didn't know what to do. Jersey, 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 I'm trying to the name. Um, you had enough on your plate. Jersey, Wait, Jersey. Who do you deal with? Jersey Devil? Jersey. You know, the Jersey, Jersey Devil. Devil. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. That's God, it's been a long time since I heard that name. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. 
I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. Hmm. You have to believe us. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know, I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there... I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Hmm. No, those multiple choice missions. Where to go to first? Let's see. The pawn or the butcher shop? Tough choice. Yeah, it's going to be a tough choice, but I think I'll go with the butcher shop first. Since Mary seems to be there, we have some payback to give her, so maybe we'll run into her. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. Oh, I'm sure you what would. You say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not going to let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Uh, butcher shop. Looks kind of deserted. No smoking, huh? Oh well. We didn't see the sign until we came in here. A little late then. Alright, what we got here? Lots of places to look. Hmm. Nope, nothing there. So we're here. 
Cold drinks. I'm not seeing many drinks. Yeah, it's pretty slim pickings there. All right, some special. Uh, about a quarter of it's been marked out. Hmm. Huh. Take another. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Yeah, I'm having to lean towards it. Right. Having not any. All right, so have a look at your selection. That's some nasty looking stuff. Very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Bigby Wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? I want to look what's in that box back there <clears throat> that you're <coughs> conveniently standing in front of. Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak, on special. New York strip. Uh, <laughs> All of it should be oh, on special. I can have some wild boar in tomorrow, if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs, roast. Johan, I want to know exactly what's going on here. We sell meat? Did you want to buy something? <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. Don't find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to I'm help. Sure. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. I, Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on, I, I just gotta go check on What's that. Up with that button? Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Crap's up with that button. Bet that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before at the Tweedles. It's got to be a warning button, I'm sure. So he does have meat. Crap, he's got tons of meat here. What the hell? I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Am I going to get ambushed and all this stuff? problem. I'm just coming back to give you a hand. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, the safety purposes. Come on, damn it. For such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. How much meat you got back here? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> Trying to cover up the door? Get me killed. Things I do. How you doing? Please, please, Big Me. Please don't. Big Me? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Please don't just talk. kill me. If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was mm. a simple choice to make in the moment. They? You mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The Crooked Men's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. Don't 
telling you. They muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivered let him a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. There would be the day. Yeah, we only have two options. Big B Wolf would walk through my door. Shh. That's pretty quiet. All right, let's go ahead and open it. I'm sure there's nobody back here, though. That alarm, I'm sure they're gone. Hmm. Nice little lab back here. Still cooking, so yeah, there must have been just somebody back here we just missed. There's the red light. I'm sure that button lit that up. Yeah, it's got run or anything. So that's most likely what that button was for. So there was somebody here, we just missed them. Chains. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business, it's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. These lights, Johan. Did you warn them I was here? I had to. Had to, huh? in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? You're not off the fucking hook yet, Butcher. If I find something, I so much as smell something that makes me think you're lying. Uh, more glamours, huh? So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours. Other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Wow, lots of stuff to look at. Um, Alright, let's have a look. I guess we'll start on the left and work our way around. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the Crooked Man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a wheel or what? I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. Yeah, one that breaks limbs. Came over here with the rest Can't of remember the name of it offhand, though. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. Yeah. Like breaking their bones. And do I really need to explain this? Yeah, that's what I thought it was. But I can't remember the name of it, though. I know what he's talking about. Nasty little device back in the old days. Alright, what is all Maybe this? Just don't touch anything back here. I'm guessing this Please. is inventory, because this is all the stuff over here has letters and stuff on them. These are raw materials yeah. for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Yeah, all them letters and stuff on here, that's got to be what this is. Inventories. Huh. Looks like math or something. Oh, got stuff behind it. What's this? Shit. Wow. Is everybody on here? Do you know anything about this? I, I I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. That's a lot of people. What else is all on here? Goldilocks, I see. Georgie's, I guess that's Georgie Porgy. Little Miss Muffet. What else is on here? And yeah, most of these I don't really know offhand. Hmm. Alright, what else we got? Nothing over here. We got chains. Let's see, there's somebody's 
Either got slaves doing it or chained up here. You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Yeah, I'm guessing they got slaves doing it or they're got subjects or whatever here they're using to take blood or something from. It's my two guesses. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables and magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The raw materials and the slave labor to process. Yeah, slaves. And with all this gear, looks like they could make just about any kind of magic. A lot of it. And it's pretty clear why. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This yep. is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains, he's he's enslaving fables. My watch. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? Oh, tr tr quit trying to get on my good side here. Finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He's not he boss said anymore. He knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah stuff like that mirror I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces probably still has the shard with him well if they got their hands on an important magical item there's only one place they'd take it the lucky pawn they probably took crane there too mm. the lucky pawn yep if I can find the mirror piece there I can find the crooked man hey hold on well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Big B. But what about me? Huh? You harbored these what people. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life Shouldn't looking have you on your own here. For Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. There's no way to get out of this. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Alright, so off to the pond now, I'm guessing. Which, maybe we should have gone there first. But, well, now we got a lot of info. So what's going on here? This could be interesting. Jersey, don't don't give me that shit. What the fuck is oh, no, he's here. In the system if you're just going to my fuck Jack, What the fuck is going on? But you I'm a, the guy who just going to I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. If you love your act so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. You don't Let's listen to him no for a second. This, pal. You push me one more time, and I will have one hell of a mess on my hands. And I really don't feel like mopping out this room today. So I'm giving you one more shot to thank me for my sunny attitude and generous oh. disposition. Big mouth, that little dude. Walk around and walk out that door with your life. Walking out with your axe or whatever other bullshit is not on the table. All right, well. So get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? The fucking hell. Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of... Shit. All right, Jersey, you can take him down here. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers, or are you done chasing your tail? Ooh, Where's this dude's asking for it. That's for sure. You give it to. You follow me here all the way from Battery Fucking Park. Trust me, 
You do not want to go there. And what if I do? Back off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <laughs> oh. Still a little sore, shut. are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. Oh, this dude's asking for it. You know what? Ah! You right, where to go? Let's go over here. Try this again. Ooh, that right, looks pleasant. This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Well, hello, Jersey Devil. Nice to meet you. Yeah, this is gonna be fun, I'm sure. Guess I better help him out. Man, it's good. I think I will. Oh, the axe is still here. Have another. Whoa, get out of the way. Down, down, down. To your face. Come on, bring it. Have another. What else you got? Q, Q, Q. You don't need that. Oh, still want more, huh? What else we got here? Oh, ah, it's my arm! Uh-oh. Oh, more Qs. Come on, Q. Hey, I found her. Ooh. Oh, he still wants some more. Um, let's go for the anvil. Ooh. He's gonna fill that one in the morning. Seen that happen before? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Bad, useless bitch, Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. Where's the crooked man? How can I find him? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Where'd they take it? Where did they take Crane? Oh, how the fuck should I know? They do what they do. You'll never see him again. Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. Hmm. All right, so let's see what's in this one. Cash. Your traveler's checks, huh? You don't need that. You won't be needing this anymore. We found cash every episode now, I think. That sick piece of... Man. All right. What do we got? The shard. Oh, we got our shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's 
nothing you could do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Yeah, just shut up. Oh! Yeah, shut the fuck up, will ya? Out of smoke? Thank you, Deserves One. Thanks. Shitty brand. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something we can do about it. We can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yep. Yeah. You're damn right it is. All right. Go do it then. Hey, Woody. Yeah. You gonna be all right? You know me. We got our shard finally. Let's go back to that mirror. Get that thing hopefully put together. Yep, back to the business office. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? She's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff did... Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. Crooked Man has something on everybody. It wasn't just Beauty and the Lung. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. And he's got fables enslaved at the butcher shop, making black market magic. This is worse than we could have imagined. But that's over now, because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Uh oh, Wilt is wrong. Wrong shard. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. I'm believable. Why don't you go fuck off and tell I'm good and ready? I still want to say he's the voice that was on the answering machine. He just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. And a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the Lucky Pond. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. 
<laughs> oh, he doesn't like being spied on. <laughs> Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Alright, so we have to have a chat with these two. Toad, come here. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Toad, this is the business office, not a bank. You're always talking about glamours, and now it's my responsibility. Well, what about your responsibility? My car, total, the gaping mall in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. Take it. Here. Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamour, Toad. You got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. <laughs> Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Bluebeard. What have I been calling it? Blackbeard the whole time? Well, at least oh, he's well. not trying to get rid of me. I still think he knows something. For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Toad won't be a problem. I'll see to that. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand yeah, or control, I'm if thinking. it was one of his goons. If there's one thing I've figured out, that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop. The magic he peddles. Chains. Ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Are you really sure you want to see him? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction. I looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the state. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. 
Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Poetry isn't part of my job description. I haven't been feeling well of late. Seems neither of us can cooperate. Damn. Perhaps I can be of assistance? <clears throat> mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to Crooked Man's domain. I can always count on you, Bufkin. I don't recognize, don't recognize that door, either. That's the Crooked Man's Apartment Man or something. Hold on. Hope is moving. It's like an alleyway or something. The door. It moves. Yeah. Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high. Well, no promises, you but... you your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here. A lot. And we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Alright, Crooked Man, we're coming for you now. So when we get there before the door shuts. Alright, so here we are. Let's have a look at it. That's it, alright. Well, that don't help. Get open. All right, so here we go to the portal. Sheriff, I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way. Um, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. But I get it. You're not here on a social call. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street, but you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. I don't want to get in trouble. Fine, lead on. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. Tim, how can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not... He's not as bad as you think. He doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have him. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe. Because mm -hmm. if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? Work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty, too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Oh, Can you just wait fine. up, Sheriff? 
Thanks. <laughs> My some kind of fucking joke to you. What did I tell you? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah. Tell me who the fuck Thanks. is back there. I ain't scared of you. I, I don't so exactly cool. know. I, I just mind the door. You need the boss is there. He'll come around. Not that much. And like Crane before him, I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. Hmm. I say he'd be more useful killed, skinned, and made into a rug for me to wipe and shoot. Sounds like Jack's in there too. He's right. Tell who else. That won't be necessary. Sheriff Wolf, sir. All right, the whole crew is here. Oh, you again. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. I'm kind of outnumbered here, that's for sure. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Yeah, I'm outnumbered, so I think I'll just cooperate for the time being. Let's not push the issue. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. Hmm. Don't end there, come on. Ah! No! I don't want to wait. This is getting good. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <coughs> hmm. So our showdown with her is next episode. I think next episode is the final episode anyway. But before we talk about that, let's just go ahead. Alright, did we send Colin to the farm? Me and 28.3% decided to send him, so I'm on the negative side for that one. Did you attempt to remove the ribbon? Me and 61.5% did not try. Okay. Which crooked operation do you investigate? Well, that's split right down the middle, 50 p 50 Did you send Toad to the farm? Me and 47% decided Toad should not go. Even though all that line of stuff he did to us, I really should have. But oh well. How did you respond? Me and 19.7 agreed to talk with him. Wow, so everybody else just came in here just threatening him on the spot. But I decided to be a little more civil and think things out. So I was outnumbered. So we'll see how that plays out. Alright, so that'll do it for this episode. Alright. Pretty good episode. Now we just gotta wait another two months or so probably for the next one, so hope y'all enjoyed it, and we will see you what, July possibly, for the next episode and final episode of the series. At least until the next season, because I'm sure there will be. So for now, I'll s well, yeah, we'll end it and we'll see you then. So hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you.